These last months have been among the most difficult for all of us in recent memory. So many of us experienced unimaginable personal pain, losing too much and too many too soon. I want to be honest with you and give you a clear update on the position that we find ourselves in. Last week, I have attempted to engage in good faith with the governor's senior officials in the hopes of a constructive dialogue on a path forward. Instead, the governor's rhetoric has become darker and his tactics more heavy-handed. For years, our city has suffered the fate of an ego contest between our two executives. Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio have been at each other's throats for as long as they have been in office, much to the demise of our great city. We have seen and continue to see the terrible effects of this baseless, self-centered fight. By the way, there's so much they could learn from how nicely my two-year-old gets along with my six-year-old. Making matters worse, the governor has decided to turn coronavirus into an orthodox Jewish issue rather than basing it on science. In fact, Governor Cuomo has now taken his hate-driven messaging to a national audience, saying things like Orthodox Jewish community don't want to follow the rules, or members of the Orthodox community, they never comply with the rules, and referring to the Orthodox community as a politically powerful community. This is outrageous and divisive language. He is shamelessly stoking the embers of anti-Semitism. There's no other way to put it. Let's be honest. Had President Donald Trump been the one saying these words, Andrew Cuomo would have been the first one out of the gate condemning him. Mr. Governor, maybe it's time to take a real long look in the mirror. While you and the mayor were busy trying to upstage each other with conflicting information back in March, we shut down our synagogues and our schools. We do follow the rules. Perhaps you are unaware of the basic facts, given that you only visit our community once every four years prior to your re-election. And even then, it's a tightly scripted visit. We know the metrics the government is using do not represent the full picture. Particularly during the three weeks of Yom Tov season, when mostly those feeling ill were testing. The system was not built for only those feeling ill to test. Additionally, we are large families. In fact, the Department of Health has confirmed to me that in our community, there's a lot of in-house transmission, a direct result of large families being in quarantine. For a governor that prides himself on science, well, the health department does not believe schools nor small businesses are a main driver of spreading the virus. Again, while there's divisive discrimination coming from the top, there's no doubt we have to do our part in helping stop the spread. We need to take a few minutes out of our busy schedules and get tested. Unfortunately, we do not have partners in government, but we need to do our part. Wear a mask, get tested, and to the maximum extent possible, practice social distancing. We have faced many hardships before in our community, like all others. With Hashem's help, we will get through this one as well together.